Hello. All right. Uh, thank you very much uh, for being here for this very special moment. Um, it's really an honor for me to be a part of this. Uh, I'm Mike Massimino, a former American. Uh, I'm still an American. I'm a former astronaut, though. I'm a former American <laughs> astronaut. They haven't kicked me out yet. I'm still an American, even though it's election day. Uh, but I'm a, a, a former NASA astronaut, and it's uh, my pleasure to be here at Web Summit and to uh, make, be part of this next presentation. Um, this is the first time that they've given out this award here at Web Summit. Uh, it's to an individual who's made a huge impact on the sporting world over his career. He's well known throughout the world, uh, in the United States as well. I know he's very popular here, but he's also well known in the US. So I was thrilled to get a chance to meet him. This is the Web Summit Innovation in Sport Award. And it's gonna be presented uh, by Nico Rosenberg, uh, Roseberg, who's right here. Uh, Nico's right next to me. And it's gonna be given to the founder of Jesse Fute, George Mendez. George is gonna come out here in a minute, but before he does, Nico is going to uh, tell us a little bit more about George. Oh no, for me it's very, I'm proud to be able to hand over the award today to George. George is the, the best agent in the world of soccer, the best agent the world of soccer has ever seen, and uh, has done a phenomenal job with Cristiano Ronaldo, uh, which in fact has opened the path for a huge growth of soccer in Portugal. As you know now in the national team, a lot of incredible talent coming through. So all of you who are Portuguese, you can look forward to a great future for your country in the world of sports, in the world of football. And uh, that a lot of that is thanks to George Mendes. So I'm proud to hand over the prize to him uh, right now. Thank you, Nico. So please, all of you, all of us here, let's welcome to the stage the first winner, the inaugural winner, of the Web Summit Innovation and Sport Award, the founder of Just a Fute, the agent to the stars, and a proud Portuguese man, George Mendes. Sorry. Thank you. All right. I have to take this back down. Okay. Congratulations. Uh, please. Can I speak now? Yeah, why, uh, okay. why don't we Thank sit you. and you want to say a few I would like just to say yes, a, couple of yeah. a couple of things. Of course. Oh, sorry. It's fine. Yeah. Thank you very much to Web Summit. Uh, I'm proud. It's a big honor. And uh, I would like also to dedicate this moment uh, to my family, uh, to my people from Jesti Food, and uh, to my brother, to my mother, and, uh, and to my father. They passed it away, but they are always with me in my heart. Thank you very much. Uh, George, you've had a great career. We've only known each other a couple minutes, but I can already see why everyone likes you. Just a terrific guy. It's a pleasure to be around you. Thank you. Uh, my what pleasure. What, what would you say, out of all these great moments you've had in your career, what is your best moment in, in football? Uh, it's difficult to choose one, but there is one very special, when Portugal won uh, the Euro. So it was a big achievement. And I think that uh, today we have players with quality to win uh, maybe next Euro, and also maybe one day the World Cup, we'll see. Well, with your, with your guidance and leadership, I think it's, it's more than possible, I would say. Um, you've been at this for a, a while, uh, for, for, for many years. Um, what has been the biggest change that you've seen from when you began to where the sport is now? I can mention two key moments. I think Cristiano Ronaldo in 2003 and Jose Mourinho in 2004. In 2003, he started in Man United with uh, 18 years old. We are not talking about a player arriving at the club with 24 or 25. Yeah. And with 18 years, 18 years old, after the first season, being the best United player is a big achievement. It's, a, it's something amazing. And uh, at that moment, of course, that we have for Portugal, of course, that was really very important because we have young players with talent. And after that, 
uh, he opened the door because before that I was trying all the time doing the same, moving a player to England and was almost impossible. I was trying, I, I was talking with all the, the Premier League teams and every single day, I give you an example with Ricardo Carvalho, who was a top player, one of the best, one of the best uh, central backs in the world. And I was, before that, I was trying, 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 and impossible. And after that, thanks God that Mourinho came to England, to Chelsea. After 50 years, he started winning again. Uh, Chelsea started winning again. And with Portuguese players. And I think that for our country, for our, for, for our country, was, was those, those two moments were key moments. And very important uh, for, uh, for us. And even today, of course, that all the managers that w Portugal at the moment, maybe we have, um, I'm Portuguese, but, but I must, uh, I, I, it's my, my, my honest opinion that today we have top managers, not one, two or three, because sometimes it's difficult to find a top manager, man, uh, top manager, but today we have Marco Silva in England, Nuno Espírito Santo, Leonardo Jardim, of course, everything started with Jose Mourinho, but we have uh, conditions to improve and people with quality to be anywhere and to, to, to go to Spain or England or Italy. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, again, Jose Mourinho started talking about managers. Jose, Jose Mourinho started all this process. What, what are you looking forward to uh, next in the short term here? And, and are you excited about 2019? What's coming, uh, what's coming up next year? I think that we will have another, another good moment for us. I, I hope that Cristiano Ronaldo, I think that he will win this year the Ballon d'Or. And next, is, next year, I think that he will have a big chance to win it again because as, we, as you can confirm, at the moment, he's, he's, he's playing very well. And you can check also the difference between the club where you were before and at, at the moment Juventus, they are improving a lot. And I hope I'm Portuguese, but also uh, I'm talking about someone that for me is the best, best player in the world, the best ever. You've been very successful. You're a very uh, popular uh, character in the world, in the world of football especially. We've got a lot of young entrepreneurial people who are not only football fans, but entrepreneurs. What advice do you have? What is the lesson that you would like them to leave with based on all your accomplishments? What, do you have a, give us a piece of advice here as we finish up. Listen, my goal, every single day I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm looking after players, young players, players with 18 years old, 17 years old, 19 years old. I think that today the most important for me is it's not the club. When a, when a player is you have a, having a, a, a good player, a top player, and you have three or four clubs ready to buy him. But the most important thing, in my opinion, is to find the right manager, the, for, the right coach. Mm -hmm. This makes the difference. You, I can give you three or four examples, because when Cristiano uh, signed with Man United, there is only one guy who said at that time, Leave it with me, you will come with me, you will play 50% of the games. All the clubs, they wanted to sign Cristiano, but all of them, they wanted to keep him one more here in sporting. Uh, you have examples like João Cancelo, Bernardo Silva. Um, I, I could give you five or, or six more, but this is exactly what I'm looking for. Finding talent, uh, players with quality, but also the manager, because the manager at the end is the most important for them, not the club. Surrounding yourself with the right people, getting the right people involved yes, in your life. Correct. George, you're out of time, but it's a pleasure meeting you and congratulations. Uh, very well deserved. Congratulations. My pleasure. My pleasure. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> Sorry. Let me give you a hand. Thank you very much. You bet.